The Denver 7 Investigates follow-up for you tonight. A judge recently sentenced the owner of a Colorado moving company to six years in prison for stealing his customers' belongings. That sentencing opening the floodgates for similar cases. Our consumer investigator Jacqueline Allen tells us what that means for victims still trying to get their stuff back. I've been shining a light for years on this moving company owner who's done a lot of damage in our state. I kept getting calls from clients saying, he packed up all my stuff and just disappeared or held my things hostage until I gave more money. I kept asking, how was this guy getting away with this? Well, now's the part where justice is served. The sound of handcuffs and closure. In a Weld County courtroom, David Zoda could no longer wink at justice. We have a news reporter who did not let up, who believed them before anyone else. Multiple victims reaching out from across Colorado to Denver 7 News. During this sentencing hearing, prosecutors referenced our reporting since 2018. One customer after the next saying Zoda moved out all of their belongings and held them hostage. And the first person I reached out to was Jacqueline Allen. And she emailed me back and then just helped. Sure the judge handed right. down a six-year sentence for theft. The Weld County DA sending this message to shady movers. And we will find you, you will be prosecuted, and you'll be held accountable. Did this case make you mad? Absolutely. Um, you, you and I talked about this boy, a couple of years ago, I think. And, and this was just a blatant slap in the face to people who were simply trying to move from one place in the country to another. What's crazy about this story is that some of Zoda's clients are still missing their belongings. And Denver 7 Investigates has learned some of those may be here. The 18th Judicial District DA confirmed their office executed a search warrant at this storage sense in Arapahoe County. Charges are also pending in Denver County. The wheels of justice may turn slowly, but we wanted to show you what happens when they do start turning. It was closure for me closure for me to say what you did to me is wrong and you're going to pay for it. For Denver 7 Investigates, I'm Jacqueline Allen.